roll with the flow, baby. Wow, what a day. I got my friend here. And uh, we went to Target. We got, we waited in line at Popeyes. Um, moral of 2022 so far, don't go to Popeyes. Um, For sure. It was a long time. I received a beautiful gift, a beautiful tarot deck. Um, what was a long time? Hmm? You said it was a long time. Oh, waiting in the drive-thru at Popeye's. We waited there for like 40 minutes, honestly, I think. And I got cold sandwiches. And we got cold sandwiches. But we later decided that the buns were cold. And the sandwiches were hot. The chicken was fresh. The chicken was fresh. The buns were frozen or something. They were cold. They were refrigerated, most likely. Yeah. And then I checked YouTube Music, I checked uh, Spotify, I checked Apple Music, and in some of those locations, you can find my three song EP, Eureka, on there, If Michael Music, that's it. You search up Eureka, If Michael Music, it should come up. It'll be out on Spotify in the next couple of days. Definitely on Apple Music, definitely on YouTube Music. Freaking check, check it out, so that's pretty dope. Um, and my family does this thing every year where we do the secret Santa, but the trick is, it's not a trick, but the catch, it's not a catch. The rules are that you can't just buy a gift. You have to make it. It has to be something homemade. So my sister, she, she crocheted me a Statue of Liberty little icon, not, it's not an icon, it's a little plush doll, basically. And then I made a website for my sister to track all of her memories and lessons that she's teaching to her uh, newborn, or six month old at this point, holy cow, time flies by. Um, my dad made a nice little video for my mom, my mom made, oh my gosh, my mom painted this beautiful painting for my sister. Uh, my brother-in-law oh, is making a homemade fidget spinner for my future brother-in-law. And then my other, the fu my future brother-in-law made uh, like a noses and glasses. It's like an inside joke um, for, that attached to your glasses for my dad. And I started watching The Witcher. It's going well. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, I'd recommend it. I'm probably going to binge the rest of it tomorrow. Maybe not, though, because I have to move the rest of my stuff up into this room. Because you can see right now, it's just bare. It's just a desk, desk and a bed and a little lighting fixture. And that's pretty much it. And let's see. Yeah, and there's going to be more music coming soon. You know, that's just a little taster, a little teaser. Um, already have a couple other songs that are written, just not finished recording them. And I might go back and remaster, re-edit those three songs once I get my new computer that I'm stoked about come January. should be here soon. Um, that's really the overall, that was like the whole day. And I just want to let you know, 2022, if you add up the numbers, it equals six. Apparently, it's the lover's card. So, and apparently, the lover's card is my card, according to the tarot. So, be on the lookout this year. A lot of love. And make sure that you tell the people in your life that you care about them, that you love them. And reach out to someone and start the new year on the right foot you know make sure you lift up your right foot so you can put it back down again okay. and that's it have a great year i'll see you tomorrow but have a great year are we going okay uh so i just shuffled the deck and uh, i asked the question of 
what is the guiding light that I should follow in 2022? And the car that I picked was the Wheel of Fortune. So if you can see this, I'm not sure how, is it hard to see? Yeah, I'm trying to get the light. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. All right, nice. Sorry, turn it back towards me. Thank you. All right, so here we go. This is what the book says. So I hope you enjoy this type of content. If you do, drop a comment down below. All right, storybooks begin. Once upon a time, and then, like a neatly wrapped up package, they come to the end. But true tales have no beginning or end. They do not exist only when men say exist, but are always there, reverberating throughout through time in a weaving dance. We try to contain it with beginnings and ends to put boundaries on everything simply because our own lives are bounded by birth and death and thus we seek to lessen the power of what is immortal true tales have a power that reaches beyond the fates weave the threads of life eternally one tied to another snip this thread here weave it into the tapestry there slowly as the cloth rolls away the images emerge night follows day in the cycle of the heavens Years bloom with the first fresh buds of spring to the sweltering profusion of long summer days, the shower of leaves as autumn sets in, and then the long dormant wait and sleep of winter. And on it goes and on. It is an inexorable, inexorable and timeless tale. I gotta look those words up. The wall and beauty. The walls and beauty that artisans create will one day fall and new structures will rise up on those remains. And so do the individual fortunes of any one person on a cycle that may last a day or two or years on end, change will come. So that's a description of the card. Um, and now here's what it means or a possible meaning. The wheel of fortune, destiny, mm. the weaving of life's threads coming together, fate, turning points, movement and change, patterns and cycles, an interconnected world. The knotwork in the stainless glass window circles around the wheel as a, gold, a single golden thread without start or finish. The rise and fall of the wheel as it turns is as the changes of life. If the world seems to be closing in and crushing hope with its weight, step back to see the bigger picture and the upturn that is soon to come. And that's the guiding light of 2022. Go out there and follow your destiny.